this is our first cryptorhythm. So plus so equals two. We can begin by listing out our digits. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to nine we can see that here we have two two digit numbers added together which gives us the word two a three digit number so how do we go from a two digit number to a three digit number well it means we must have carried a number the biggest digits nine plus nine added together will equal 18. So the biggest value we can ever carry would be just a one or just a 10. And we can see that this T over here is carry because this sum was made by two two digit numbers. So T has to be a one, we can cross one out. If T equals one, then the sum of S and S must be a two digit number. So S can be five, six seven eight or nine we're not doing four or below because four plus four equals eight and eight is not enough it's only a one digit number and we can also list out the pro the possibilities for o if s equals five then it equals zero if s equals six then o would equal two because six plus six equals twelve and two is its unit digit and if s equals seven then o would equal four if s equals eight then o will equal six if s equals 9, then o will equal 8. Now, which of these pairs work out? If we have o equals 8, 8 plus 8 will equal 6, not 8 itself. Remember, every single digit represents only one number. But we can see that when we add 0, if o is 0, 0 plus 0, it still equals 0. And 0 is the only number out of these numbers that work out, which means that s would equal 5 and o would equal zero now let's test it out 50 plus 50 equals 100 and yes this does make sense so our answer would be t equals 1 s equals 5 and o equals zero again this was a very simple problem just a warm-up and review for the following problems Welcome back to our second problem of this Cryptorhythms playlist. Us plus as equals all. Again, we can start by listing out our digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. As you can see, we still have two two-digit numbers added together to equal a three-digit number. And so A must be the carried digit which means that a must equal one. So one is already taken. This is usually the one of the very first steps you take whenever you're solving a simple cryptorhythm problem. And so if this a is one, then this a is also a one. So u plus one has to equal a two digit number in order for this a to get carried. So u could equal nine, or it can also equal eight, remember, because if s plus s equals a two digit number and we carry a one here and u equals eight then this will still work out so there are only two possible choices for u now we can list out the corresponding values of s and l if u equals nine then l would equal one and if u equals eight then l would equal zero because we know that one is already taken by a then it means l can't be one which means u also can't be 9. So u would be 8, and l would equal 0 and 0. So then what would s be? Of course, s can't be 0 itself. I know 0 plus 0 equals 0, but 0 is already taken by l. So s would have to equal 5. 5 plus 5 equals 10, which means a equals 1, u equals 8, l equals 0, and s equals 5. And this is our third cryptorhythm. As you can see, we are still on the stage of two digit number plus two digit number equals three digit number. So again, D would equal one. If this D equals one, then this D is one, this D is one, and so is this D. In this column, we see something interesting. One plus something equals something that ends also in a one. So this must mean that i is equal to 0, because 1 plus 0 equals 1. So now we can look in the tens column. Something plus 1 equals 10. Remember, this d is a carried number. So what plus 1 equals 10? 
of course, E has to equal 9 because 9 plus 1 equals 10. And so this is our answer. Here's problem 4 of our cryptorhythms. DI plus is equals ill. I think it means die plus is equals ill. How will we solve this problem? Of course, I equals 1. As you can see, D plus 1 equals a two-digit number, and S plus 1 also equals a number that has the same ones digit. So what could D be? D could either be 9 or it can be 8 if a number is carried. And now we can do L. If D equals 9, then L would equal 0. If D equals 8, then L. L would still actually be equal to zero. So L is equal to zero. And as you can see, no matter what, S will have to equal nine in order for L to be zero. And nine is already taken by S, then D will have to equal eight. So S equals nine and D equals eight. That is the solution to our fourth cryptorhythm. Here's another cryptorhythm. Dan plus Nan equals Nora. How would we do this problem? As you can see, we are going from a three-digit number to a four-digit number. Whenever a addition problem has two numbers being added together, the greatest value that can get carried is one. And we can see that this n is clearly a carried number. So n would must equal one. n equals one. And if this n equals one, then these n's also equal one. And now we can look in the ones column. A would equal two. Remember, this is all coming together. And D plus one equals equals a two digit number. And we know that any one digit number added to one can only make 10 as a two digit number. So D would equal nine. Nine plus one equals 10. So O would also equal zero. And this is our solution.